Welcome back to the channel everybody. I'm Trevor with Maker Experiment and today I'm going to be making a custom sign for a channel called The Golf Garage. So this person actually modifies clubs, so putters and wedges and things like that, and customizes them with different designs and inlays and does a really good job. So they wanted a sign done for their logo. So I'm gonna walk through the process of how I did that. Along the way, if you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. And now let's get into the process of making the sign. I made the sign out of quarter inch thick MDF and the size was roughly 18 inches by 18 inches. Because of this, I was able to actually fit the background and the logo on one single piece of MDF. This design has a lot of small, little detailed pieces that are perfect for the laser. Just like my last MDF projects, I typically start by priming them with a filler primer from Rust-Oleum. This helps fill in any imperfections and sand to a smooth, clean finish that I can start to paint from. For this sign, I'm using a flat white paint for the background, as well as flat black paint, a gloss green, and a gray spray paint for all of the parts of the logo. Once all of the parts are painted, I assemble them using the Starbond Thick Formula CA glue. If you'd like to get your own Starbond CA glue, you can check out the link in the bio for 10% off. Now let's go into a time lapse to watch the whole assembly. Now that you've seen the process of making the sign, this is the final product. So this one has a lot of small details, especially in the middle of this F, very tiny. This one too. So pieces like this are very difficult to glue down and not have issues with them. So it did take a couple tries to get those installed, but overall it came out really well. When I was painting the green, there was some issues with the paint cracking and looking really strange. So I started over on those and actually made them again and repainted them all again and was able to finish up the sign and make it look really nice. So one of the challenges that I have with painting with gloss paint in general is sometimes that last layer, or if you put a sealant on the last layer, it can start to spiderweb crack and have some weird behavior. It doesn't always happen, it just happens occasionally. So if you happen to know how to fix that uh, or how to prevent that from happening, let me know in the comments below because it still happens on occasion and I don't know if there's a way to completely eliminate it, but if there is, I'd like to find out. But that's gonna do it for this video. Uh, if you like what you saw along the way, consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel where I come out with new sign build videos as well as other videos of projects that I do. And be sure to check out my Instagram at Maker Experiment where I share process photos along the way as well as stories and different things that don't always make it to my YouTube channel. But I wanna thank you for following along and I'll see you in the next video.